In today's video, I want to talk about the truth around weight loss coaching. And the reason I want to dive into this is because a lot of the coaches I work with have a lot of resistance around helping people lose weight and they feel like it's being shallow. They tell me, you know, it's not really about the weight. Uh, they think that they're telling people that they're not okay with the way that they are and they have to lose weight to be happy and to be accepted and all those things. And I think we've had a huge movement with body positivity, which I think is great. Um, but I think this has brought up some confusion around weight loss and helping people lose weight and what this means and if it is okay. <laughs> okay. So I want to dive into this today. Um, and I had a conversation with my clients about this recently and I thought it was super helpful and my clients found it super helpful as well. So I want to share it with you. And so I started by looking up just some statistics around weight loss, and this is just for the United States, but according to statistics, it was 36.5% of the population is obese and another 32.5% of the population is overweight. So overall, two thirds of the U S population is overweight or obese. Okay. It's a huge number. It's more than half of the population. And so I think just first of all, like recognizing these statistics is huge and it isn't just a problem in the United States. Like lots of other countries are following this trend of really the, the population's weight is increasing. And so what I want to start with, the first thing is letting you know that people want to lose weight. Okay. People want to lose weight and they're willing to pay for it. So when I looked up the statistics around, around the weight loss industry, it's a $72 billion industry just in the United States alone. That is a lot of money that people are spending to try and lose weight. So yes, there is a need to help people lose weight. And yes, people want to lose weight and they are willing to pay for it. And these are the things that we look for when we're looking for a profitable niche. Are there people who need help with this? Are they willing to pay for it? Yes. And yes. Okay. <laughs> so we have, we have that down. And the, the second thing that like I really hear is that my clients tell me, well, it's not about the weight. It's not about the weight. So I don't want to focus on the weight. I don't want to focus on it because it's not really about the weight. There's other things going on. And yes, that is true. The weight is a symptom of other problems, right? And it's the same thing that if we're helping someone with any sort of health issue, it's a symptom of underlying issues and we're helping them as a coach. That is what we're helping them do. We're going to say your client's coming to you saying, I want to lose weight. So you're going to let them know I'm going to help you lose weight, right? But the way that I'm going to help you lose weight is by solving the underlying issues that you that are causing the weight. Okay. And you don't even necessarily need to say that, but when you work with someone, that's what you're going to help them do. You're going to help them solve the underlying issues that are causing the weight gain. But when it comes to marketing yourself, you need to market what your client is looking for and your client is looking to lose weight. So you need to market around. I can help you lose weight. The way that you help that person lose weight can be whatever you want it to be. It may just be working on their mindset. And if that helps them lose weight and you have proof and you know, it works awesome. Okay. So I think we get so stuck in this. Like if I'm helping people lose weight, I have to do it this certain way. And you don't, you can do it in your own unique, unique way. And this is really your job as a coach is to show them the way that they may not be aware of, right? Like they may just be dieting and they're losing the weight and gaining it. And so as a coach, you want to show them why what they're doing isn't working and teach them what actually does work. Okay. So you can show them, you know, these are the reasons why you haven't lost the weight, why you're not keeping it off. And I'm going to help you actually make this happen. Okay. The third piece I want to talk about is body positivity. Okay. So there's been a huge body positivity movement. 
I think this is amazing. I think we should not judge people for their on their weight um, or judge people according to any any physical characteristic, right? But I think we're getting confused about what body positivity means, okay? Body positivity means accepting people how they are, okay? However they are is perfectly fine. But it does not mean that being overweight is healthy, okay? And I think we get confused by that <laughs> a lot. So you're not telling people that they're not acceptable the way they are, but people want to lose weight because they want to get healthier and because they want to look better, which is fine. Like if you want to feel better because you want it and you think that losing weight is going to help you, like there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong about wanting to look hot in your swimsuit, wanting to feel confident, wanting to be able to wear a smaller size clothes. There's nothing wrong with that. So I think we need to kind of like look at our judgments around this issue. Okay. Um, and so just really like getting clear on what body positivity means and that it doesn't, that it doesn't mean that you, people should stay overweight if they don't want to be overweight, if they want to lose weight. Okay. So the next piece, and it has to do with body positivity as well, but it's that you're not helping people become a supermodel. Okay. <laughs> that isn't the purpose of weight loss. I think we get confused on this part in our head as well. And that we think if we're helping people lose weight, we're helping them look like a supermodel or helping them look like someone that they're not or reaching some sort of unattainable physique that isn't possible for their body. And that's not what it's about. It's about helping someone become their best version of themselves. What my body looks like at my like peak as far as like fitness and being at my ideal weight is going to look totally different than someone else's body. All of our bodies are unique, but I know for me that being 10 pounds heavier than I am right now is not my ideal body and it's not my ideal health. And so helping people reach their ideal weight, their ideal body is what we're doing as health coaches. We're not helping them reach something that's unattainable or that isn't really aligned with their body and what is right for them, but we're helping them become their best version, create their ideal weight. Um, and that's what it's about. And maybe even teaching people that because some people are confused and they think my body should look like a supermodel. <laughs> and for a lot of us, like that's just that's just not what's going to happen. And that's not how our body is meant to look. And so as a coach, this is something that you can help your clients see, but you still helping someone reach like their ideal weight so that they can be at their peak health and feel confident in themselves is super, super important. And this is what it's about. So helping people become their best versions of themselves. So, and obviously when people reach this place, that's when they're healthy. That's when they're at their ideal weight. They're going to feel more energetic, more confident in their body. And this is what we're wanting to help them do as health coaches. Okay. So I hope you found this helpful and enlightening, and I would love to hear from you in the comments below. If you're interested in helping people around weight loss, did this help as far as shifting your mindset and helping you feel good about helping people lose weight? And if you have any additional questions about coaching around this, definitely let me know in the comments below. I am happy to answer them. So thank you so much for joining me in this week's video. If you want to find out more about getting super clear on your ideal client, super clear on your messaging, how to actually create a program to help people lose weight or whatever it is you're wanting to help people do with your coaching business. I have a free training where I walk you through that. It's called how to make money as a health coach, because ultimately, we want to be getting clients and creating income in our business. So if you're interested in that video, click the link below this video and you can watch the whole training It walks you through everything step by step. So I want to thank you so much for joining me for this week's video. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. If you want more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week.